Okay, so here I am with the case and let's see how the things are getting together and let me start with the main board. Yeah, they are in perfect, perfect alignment. Now, I have a few screws which came with the... Oh, for sure this one will go up here. <laughs> I was just thinking about having this on the fan, but it's way too big. So what do you need for now? Thermal paste and mica. I've been searching the internet, so it's looking like mica, the best isolation possible. And here we have the nuts. And first of all, we have to use thermal paste on each transistor, diode, the temperature sensor, we don't need too much, but I already use it a lot, okay, now let's try to spread it nice around, okay, this one it's already attached to the ground, and we're gonna have here, all around this area, it's good we have these holes because this will help to uh, ventilation and here in this area too here are the input transistors and of course this one okay so this is mica this is a mineral and it's perfect for electric isolation but pretty good with thermic conductibility it's far better than this kind of silicone pads. Maybe I should have this thermistor or whatever. Go like this, straight to the case, then under the mica. Oh, yeah, like that. This one needs to feel the, the temperature there. Okay, so it will be in this area. Let me have some more. I'm floating this with thermal paste. Come on, you can hear the sound. It's like a ceramic. This one will get a silicone. Okay. And we have another two right here. It's not very good. Now it's perfect. Yep. Of course, we need plastic wall because this is metallic. I mean, this is cold, we matter here, so we need isolation. And not only, but let's see. Okay, this one it's okay there. Okay, next. That's okay. Let's go to the device. Come on up, come on up, come on up. Okay, that one is cool like that, but this one needs a washer because we have a very thin line over there in proximity. Nice. And the last one up here, I don't need no washer because it's just the board. Yeah, a little bit harder. I need a longer screw here. Maybe it's too long. So I need a longer one here too. Okay, so these are very good and nice in place. Now, let me have one here to keep those two transistors down. Long. Please. But here we have a problem. The screw is not perfect in position. Yeah, we can fix that. This is clean now. Okay. Let's have the mic back in the position here. 
and that shouldn't be a problem. Do we have any debris there? No. Nice. Okay, so I can call this a success. Now, I need to have some, some measurements. Let's see if we have any short to the case. This is very important before anything else. Of course. But nothing good. Very important. We are good. So the first phase of the project is done and it's looking pretty okay. It's a very um, massive aluminium and if we consider this up here then we have a really nice thermal dissipation so it will be no problem at all okay so let's go to step two put these other things together but i have to clean it first with some isopropylic alcohol but like always there is something i missed so, let me see, we don't need this anymore, I need a hole, I forgot about that. So, this area needs to get away even a little bit farther. Okay, let's do that. Super, a, a little bit rough, but that's it, I forgot about to do this in an proper way outside. Let's see. So this one should go in here. Oh yes, very nice. Mm -hmm. We are good. Maybe a little bit here. Do that with my file. This is a very good file. Okay, so this is fixed now. But there is something I don't like here. So let's get these things. So I need spacers. Because I can't have this running. This is so bad. Hmm. Okay, we are in the business. I believe the display will be a little bit but that doesn't really matter as long as everything is fine yeah we are good except you see it's a little bit down there but I really don't care except that it should be the other way now oh, it's upside down. Yeah, nice. And everything gets smooth. Look there, nice. Okay. <laughs> Next will be the fan. So the fan will be with the label down. That's for sure. 
this way. I really don't know what shall I do. Shall I put this on top? No, not for now. Nobody's touching that anyway, so the sand. Well, I'll find maybe later a mesh or something to put in here, but for now I don't need it. It's more than enough. Now we have another problem here. The contacts should be double taped. And that's the story because we have a gap in here. What can I do about that? Maybe I'll need some of this. The most important part is this one with the switches. And a piece here too, and another one there. Nice. There we go. Bam! Everything is fine. Now, let's see how the thing fits together. Contacts up there. Okay, this is on. Yeah, fan. Connected. it. And the case is closed. It's plenty of space here for having the wires. Now, what I have to do is to find me two screws to have them in place like this and that should do the job much better ready to go. The case, well, it's maybe ugly, but it's doing the job. All I have to do now up here is to have a piece of aluminium to cover and to force the air getting in and under the things. And uh, now the last thing I have to do is to check if everything is okay. Hopefully it is. And let's hope for good. It was a long day, a lot of work, but uh, I'm really delighted with the result. The case is pretty okay. Plus, minus. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Everything is fine. Okay, and we have a few menu stuff here. I don't know what is that about. Okay, the temperature control. Oh, back. 25. Let's see. So the, the temperature sensor is down there. 26. 26.1. Oh yeah, so it's working. This is great, 26.4, nice. So the temperature control is working. What else? Probably D3, D04. Okay, so this is something about the charging menu and all the other stuff. I really don't care for that now because the next step is to put this on the wall and see how is it working thank you for now this is part three and uh, this project it's really really fun and useful in the same time i got myself a 60 amps mppt solar charge controller looking good solid and we'll see how it behaves on the wall doing the job. Thank you for now. Don't forget to have fun. Bye bye.